Welcome to the new episode in our light measurement series here at Chrome with LED. I'm Thomas and today I'm going to show you the EVO 5 150 from Sunlight in Austria. The EVO series is the brand new series of Sunlight, the top manufacturer of LED lights in Europe. They provided us with the newest light and in order to measure this big one, we will do the measurement in our big tent now in the home box ambient Q150 plus so in a tent that is 150 by 150 centimeters and now we're gonna unpack the lamp let's open her up here we have the new cover sheet with the information and there is the beautiful lamp oh look at the leds you can already see the secondary optic this is a plastic cover with lenses in it that guide the light and also provide for easy to clean surface up here in the information sheet, it starts with an explanation of the sunlight types. You have always the series name, how many light models are on a lamp, and for which area the lamp is used. In our case, we have an EVO 5 150. She has five modules on, uh, on it, and she's for 150 centimeter tent. You can see the specs over here, the EVO 5, and down in this column, the EVO 5 150, is 6.4 kilograms heavy and has 1,318 millimeters in length. The next page shows the quick start guide. This is how you connect the power supply and hang your lamp up. And then here a very handy overview for each different area, grow area, or tent size. You have how many lamps you need and how they are tilted, how they hung up inside the tent. So this is a very neat guide so you know how you have to position the lamps correctly. Um, next page shows the easy tilting system of the lamp. Each lamp has five holes in the frame. Depending on which hole you use, you get a tilting of 11 or 17 degrees. This is used to hang up the lamps correctly. The dimmer, which you can connect to the side of the lamp and which is sold separately, is explained here. I can show you the magnetic dimmer. This is the dimmer. Here you can see it and this is connected to the side of the lamp after it's connected you use this little magnetic key to tap on the dimmer to regulate the dim level and with the other side to activate or deactivate the sunrise fade next on the page is the daisy chaining concept this is how you use only one power cord with the edge connector to connect multiple lamps to it here we have the edge connector you take your power cable here, connect it to the entrance of the edge connector. Check. Now we have three outlets to connect our lamp connector cables. They look like this. And now I take one and two and check our edge connector and now can supply two lamps with one power cord. Here on the very last page you can see the different components the edge connector just showed you and the lamp connection cables and the dimmer. All this is sold separately and you can buy whatever you need for your individual situation. Down here we also have interesting links. The link to the operational manual, to the care instructions and to the online shop of Sunlight. On the very last page uh, we have a nice overview. Sunlight is using Sol and Osram LEDs. See, it's IP65 protected, has passive cooling, maximum homogeneity, she's easy to tilt, and she has the secondary optics, which I explained in the beginning. Well, let's get her out of the curtain. And here we have this beauty. She's heavier as she looks, built very sturdy, a light aluminum body. She looks a little bit like a spaceship. You can see here the five holes on the frame from the easy tilting system. On the side you have the connectors for the dimmer and the power supply. And then you can see on this side, this is the secondary optics. This is the cover that is protects you, that you can clean your LEDs without hurting them. And at the same time, there's lenses that guide your light. A very nice lamp. I think it's great how it looks, great how it's built. And now let's hang her up inside our tent and measure her. 
after we have unpacked the lamp, we now have hung her up in the set of sunlight recommends. This means the two lamps are hung inside the tent at water level and the both lamps are 90 centimeter distance to each other, 30 centimeters to the sides and the two lamps are tilted by 11 degrees inwards. I will show you that later in detail and they are hung at the recommended distance over our measuring grid. The recommended distance is 50 centimeters and since we have a sensor in a height of 3 centimeters, we have made it 53 centimeters exactly where the lamp is hanging above our measuring grid and now we let it run stationary and then we do a power measurement and a light measurement. Here from the side view you can exactly see how the easy tilt system of the Sandlight Evo works. We have here five holes in the frame. We've hung the lamp in the second hole, not in the middle, and this tilts the lamp inwards by 11 degrees. We've done the same with the other lamp to this uh, inward side and now we have the recommended set setup of sunlight. You can here also see the magnetic dimmer installed to the side. The magnetic dimmer has now three green lights on. That means it's on 100% power for our measurement. If I would like to change it, I'd take the magnetic key, use the white side and decrease, check by 20%. Now I have 80, 60, 40% of light and one more check, I'm back to 100% power. With the other side of the key, with the black side, I can touch and then the orange light comes on. This would mean that sunrise fade is now on. So the lamps come on slowly like in nature when we have a sunrise. For the measurement, I will turn off the sunrise fade again and leave both lamps at 100% power. Video of the power measurement of the Evo 5 150, two fixtures inside the 150 centimeter tent. At this moment, the two fixtures have uh, 234 volts and draw a current of 2.81 amps. And this means they use a power of 648.5 watts, 649 watts, and 657.9 volt amperes at a cosinus phi factor of 0 0.98. Here you can see the light foot of our measurement of two EU5 150 in a 150 centimeter tent. We hung the two fixtures at 90 centimeter distance to each other. That means 30 centimeters to the walls and both lamps are tilted inwards by 11 degrees. The measurement distance was 50 centimeters. That's the distance from the sensor to the fixture. The measured area is 150 by 150 centimeter. The measured power consumption here was 649 watt. The BPFD sum is 160,227 micromole per square meter per second. The BPFD average is 712. The BPFD per watt is 1.10 micromole per joule. The BPFD minimum value is 465 and is in the upper right corner. The BPFD maximum value is 831 and is in the upper right quadrant in the middle. And the homogeneity here, which is astounding, is 0 0.65. This is the best homogeneity we have measured until now in a 150 centimeter tent. That's fantastic. And the inhomogeneity calculates to 0 0.56. As I can see it here, with all those high light values, you can easily replace a 1000 watt HPS inside a 150 centimeter tent with those two Sandlight Evo 5 150 lamps. So although they're only using 650 watts of power, you can easily replace a 1000 watt HPS with them. Fantastic. I hope you had as much fun as I did with this episode and you liked the result of our measurement. Next time we're gonna measure the Evo 5 150 again, but this time three of those lamps in this 150 centimeter tent and then let's see how the results come out then. See you next time, aloha.